Hey there foodies, this is your girl Mala coming to you from Mala's Kitchen to yours and today we're getting ready to make two meals in one. One will be a grilled chicken tenderloin in my special marinade smothered in a vodka sauce and the other would be grilled sweet Italian sausage of course smothered in the same vodka sauce. Now my vodka sauce I had previously made large batches of and I froze and that's what I normally do. And so I took out one to use for this particular menu. Of course, I'll be putting the full recipe for that in the description box. So for this marinade I have that I've already added into the bowl is one quarter cup of vegetable oil. I have in this corner one teaspoon of adobo seasoning, one tablespoon of onion powder, one tablespoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of dried parsley and one tablespoon of dried oregano and of course i've crushed those we're going to mix those together optional if you want you could put a teaspoon of sea salt in here as well because i'm going to use this marinade to marinate some chicken tenders in which i'm going to throw on the grill to be added to a vodka sauce that i've already pre-made and our lovely marinade is all mixed and put together and it's ready for my chicken tenders and today I am going to be using two pounds of chicken tenderloins in which I'm going to add to this here we go I've already washed up it's time to add my chicken in there and then give it a really good mix Our chicken has been nicely mixed up in here. Take a look. It's absorbing all of those beautiful ingredients in that marinade. I'm going to let this sit for a while. And to this, I'm just going to lay on top a pound of sweet sausage, which I'm going to prick just to release some of those fats from of the grease actually on the grill. And I'm just going to toss this on top for it to all be together so I can throw that out on the grill. And our sweet sausage, our sweet Italian sausage, has joined our chicken tenders. And as you can see, I have one pound of sweet Italian sausage. I went ahead and as you can see those little holes, yep, I pricked each one twice with a fork, front and back. This way we can get rid of some of those fats during the grilling process. This here is my pre-made vodka sauce, which I've had frozen in my freezer. I made a whole bunch a while ago, and this is what I do. My leftovers, I put them in little containers like this, and I freeze them. This will be a great addition as the sauce for my grilled chicken and also some sweet sausage. And our vodka sauce is slowly being reheated. Look at that beautiful color. Oh yeah. Gorgeous. In just a few minutes, we're going to add some of our grilled chicken, which I'm going to slice up, and our sweet sausage for a quick meal. How gorgeous is that? Let's get you guys in for a nice, tight shot. Look. Beautiful. Beautiful. Gorgeous vodka sauce. Babies out, sizzling away on that grill. Magic out of the sausages, getting some nice grill marks on those babies. Yep, baby. Check out those chicken tenders. It smells amazing. Just wait for that to be done. Our beautiful darlings are done. Take a look at our sausage, our sweet sausage, our sweet Italian sausage, and our chicken tenderloins. Take a look at these babies. Wow. Gorgeous. Yep, that's exactly what we wanted. We can still see bits and pieces of that marinade, and it looks gorgeous, and it smells amazing in here. Beautious. Now we're just going to let these babies rest for a while and we're going to slice them up. If we slice them too quickly because they just came off the grill, all the juices will run out and we're going to end up with some very, very dry protein and that's not what we want. We 
through a lot of hard work to make them taste good, let's keep them tasting good. Alrighty, so our sausages has our sweet sausage was all sliced up and they're swimming and soaking up those natural juices inside of our vodka sauce. I've garnished with a bit a sprig of fresh thyme and now I'm going to add a little bit more freshness which will be some fresh parsley. That looks amazing. And of course, what's a good old Italian meal without some cheese? Grated Parmesan cheese, there we go. Everything is better with cheese. And there you have it. Sweet sausage in a vodka sauce, a la mala style. Take a look at that baby. How gorgeous is that? Beauteous, 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 yep. Gorgeous, gorgeous, absolutely stunning. Take a nice tight shot. How beautiful is that? Now to keep this keto friendly, you can eat this as is or simply serve it with some penne. And our grilled chicken tenderloins are all ready. They are completely smothered in our beautiful vodka sauce. And of course garnished with a sprig of fresh thyme. And now we're going to go ahead and put some other fresh ingredients in there. Of course I've got some chopped fresh parsley because of course that goes with everything and just add so much beautiful color and flavor and as we know everything is better with cheese what's a good old Italian meal without some cheese so some freshly grated Parmesan cheese and there we have it grilled chicken smothered in a vodka sauce a la mala style and there you go. How beautiful does that look, huh? Let's get in a nice tight shot. Yep, that baby looks yum me. Yummy, yummy, yummy in my tummy. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. There we go. Nice tight shot. Beautiful. To keep this keto friendly, you would eat this or serve it as is, or serve it with your particular choice of pasta. And once again, this is Mala coming to you from Mala's Kitchen to yours. And guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to check us out on Facebook, check us out on Instagram, check us out on YouTube, and don't forget to like, share, follow, and share, 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 share again. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and happy cooking, y'all.